My name is Lewis Adnan, um, and today I will give you, be giving you my experience of Blue Tech Week 2021 um, through my class ESRM 462, Coastal and Marine Management. So first of all, I attended a meeting, or I attended meetings on Thursday and Friday of 2021. And on Friday, um, the meeting I attended was promoting a sustainable blue economy in the state of California, where we had speakers such as Betty Yee, Jennifer Lucetti, Liz Whitman, and Karen Douglas all give different presentations of California's economic status and how uh, blue tech is influencing it and how they're trying to promote economic growth while also um, forwarding environmentally conscious uh, efforts towards energy. Um, the next conference I attended was on, or the previous conference I attended was on Thursday, um, which was Energy Innovation and had speakers such as Yi Chow, Lars Old Bjornsson, uh, Martin Elrond, Jason Bjorsch, and David Marchetti. Um, and they were all talking about different innovations they're coming up with uh, when it comes to blue tech. For example, Yi Chow was talking about these buoys they've invented to float in the ocean to take measurements of uh, different factors of the ocean, salinity, temperature, uh, pollutants, all this different stuff and how they've created a way to do it where it's sustainable, clean and renewable. Um, and the battery lasts forever. So it's really low maintenance, which makes it a viable option, which is really cool. I really like that one. Um, and then Lars Old Bjornsrud um, was talking about uh, his company, which is uh, Technic FMC, which are trying to build a uh, ocean wind turbine, which captures energy and turns uh, the ocean water, splits it into hydrogen through uh, electrokinesis, electrolysis rather, to make hydrogen gas for further energy. And these are a little diagram of what it looks like. You have some batteries there, you have the wind turbines in the background. And I just thought it was really interesting subsea type of system they're making where, um, you know, we could possibly be gathering energy on the ocean, which I think is important. Next, we have Martin Edlund, or Edlund, um, and his company actually created kites which move within ocean currents, and by moving, they collect energy. And I just thought that was a really cool little tidbit. Um, so yeah, those were my main takeaways. Uh, it was a great time. Thank you so much, the IRA Commission, for paying for our entrance fee as students, and thank you ESRM 462 for uh, connecting us with the opportunity.